garden and I'm almost ready to plant. It's been a long time coming. I still have a few things to do. I need to uh, weed the front of the garden and then I need to rebuild the flower beds because they have kind of shrunken over the winter and also through the weeding process. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then I get to plant. I'm so excited. A lot of things in my garden are already blooming. I've got lots and lots of foxgloves. It's another one. And my geraniums. And I've got lots of lupins. They're just so beautiful. I love lupins. And my roses are starting to bloom. And my columbines. Columbines were one of my most favorite flowers just because the anatomy of them, just the way they're structured is so cool. I have some purple ones too. Over the last couple years, my parents and I transformed this once abandoned space into a working garden. This year, I'm taking it over and caring for it all on my own and learning how to do it along the way. It's been liberating to have this space for myself and to practice earth magic by connecting with and nurturing nature as its caretaker. This is a totally new journey for me, and I can feel myself moving into alignment as I grow with my plants. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the plants that I have. I've got um, three peppers. I've only gotten a few tomatoes. I live um, right close to the water, and for some reason, it's tomatoes don't like to grow in salty air or something. I'm not sure what it is, but they don't grow well in my garden. Um, I've got a couple um, rosemary plants because I'm obsessed. Uh, rosemary is my herbal ally right now. And then I got some chamomile. And then I've got some more decorative things here, like I got some marigold and these yellow flowers. And then I believe this is beets. I've got some beet seeds too. I got two six packs of uh, dahlias. And then I got some more grace board. So yeah, I got some of these, some alyssum. I got lots of alyssum actually. Then I've got some squashes, squashes, butternut and zucchini. And then I got some broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And my dad really wanted some asparagus. So we're gonna start these. And I got some lettuce and a ton of lettuce seeds friend just gave me this clary sage and I was lucky to find some nasturtiums that Canadian Tire I couldn't find them anywhere and uh, I really really love nasturtiums they taste so good I have so many seeds too wanted to have a gnome collection and I found this little guy. It looks like he has a black eye because there's dirt in there. <laughs> but I found this little guy and I think it's so cute. Just found it at the dollar store actually. And uh, so I'm gonna give it a name. Hmm, what should his name be? He kind of looks like a Clyde. Over the last couple days, I seem to have lost my gardening shovel, like my little hand shovel. And it was my only one, I just got a new one today. But I think it's in my throwaway pile. 
Am I the only one that feels like gardening tools are like hair elastics and socks? Where do they all go? Something that I need to come up with a solution for is the hose because I just can't stand it just always being on the ground like this. So I think I'm going to move the entry point to over here and then put a hook up here so that it can hang. A few hours ago, a raccoon ran across my foot, it sliced and diced me, and now my toe feels weird. So that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> Winnie's not in here. So I've been learning a lot about compost and fertilizer over the last few days and I realized that even though this soil is really rich, I'm just going to add some pro mix soil and I got a little bit of compost. So it kind of worked out that I hadn't planted the vegetables yet because now I can add some more nutrients to the soil. I only have a little bit of compost so I'm thinking I'm just going to save most of it for the squash beds because I know that they could really use it. My dad is bringing over the metal detector and we are determined to find my shovel. Oh my god, it's wet and yucky. It's brand new. There it is. It was right here the whole time. Isn't that how it works? As soon as we get the metal detector, I find the shovel. <laughs> Longer I've waited, the more that I've tried. All the years that I've This time wasted, here next to all these plants is so fragrant. Try and so high. All that I go through for my peace of mind. Let it all go. The so I'm just going to sprinkle these forget-me-not seeds all along the fence line for the garden and hopefully next year a bunch of forget-me-nots pop up. It's always been you in the back of my mind. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement we To this whole thing here is mostly full of strawberries and then there's actually a pretty big rose bush back there that's covered by the sweet rocket but I'm just gonna leave it for now and I'm going to plant a few tomatoes right here but this is mostly just gonna be all strawberries here's a really big one I have often wondered if she go and jump the fence A 
lot of my plants are kind of suffering because it took me so long to weed and we are in the middle of June but luckily because the weather hasn't been great it's been pretty cold I think it's okay but because I bought, bought in a lot of my plants early they're suffering this year I guess is just gonna be kind of a tester year for me since it's my first time doing all of this on my own I've been watching this YouTube channel called grow veg and I really love it. I really love the dude who's like the host. And I made this little garden book and uh, I just painted some sunflowers on it. And I used the paint from my other projects that you've seen. Just been taking notes because I am accumulating and having to learn a lot about planting and I don't want to lose it all. So I've been keeping it in here in my journals. <laughs> And yeah, so thank you to Ben at Grow Veg. <laughs> Check out their YouTube channel. It's really, really great. Also for anyone who's wondering, my raccoon scratch is, it's doing all right. I'm not gonna lie, it was touch and go for a little bit there. But it's all good now, so sweet. <laughs> vintage gnome. She said that it was passed down through the family and I just need to wash him up and I named him Nomi. <laughs> of the vegetables and the flowers everything is done and I still have some seeds that I want to sprinkle around but uh, yeah all most of the planting is done and there's still some space to add things throughout the summer a lot of the plants from the previous years that we planted are coming to life like the roses and the foxgloves they look beautiful and last night I worked really hard on the path so that I could walk around in here barefoot so why don't I give you a tour so in here I planted bean seeds and then they'll hopefully grow up around the trellis. That happened last year and I just got this dahlia and it's just so beautiful that I had to plant it right there so I could look at it when I'm sitting in the bench. Then in this garden I planted my lettuce seeds and all of my lettuces here. Some are doing better than others. <laughs> and then here I've got Swiss chard plants and then Swiss chard seeds in here and then I did a row of peppers and then green onions in the back 
And then right here, I planted some kohlrabi seeds, and so we'll see what happens. Right here, this little guy is a mullein um, that a friend gave me, and I've never grown mullein, and so I'm really excited to grow that and make a witch's torch out of it. Over here, I'm pretty confident that that's kale from last year. Um, the kale in this garden, like right there, grows pretty wild. Then in here I planted my um, Brussels sprouts and then I just did a mound of zucchini seeds there so hopefully that I can get some plants out of it. It's a bit late and all of a sudden it went from cold to hot so hopefully it's okay. And I planted another mound there and then I've got my zucchini plants there, some more squash, I think that's acorn. And then more squashes over here. And this is kind of the rock wall that I built. And then this is just kind of a flower bed um, for when I'm sitting on the bench. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on this garden journey with me. And if you have tips for me, totally leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.